Cardio Quest is this game that scrolls uh, ECG waveforms across the screen. You already can go and play uh, Vivid on the main site. It looks like uh, where is it? Like this. And this one you play yourself all alone. Um, but uh, this one here, the one we currently developing, it will be you playing against the machine. So um, this normal ECG, the machine already got it correctly. Yeah, even with um, so we had a problem before. Now we did a false alarm. Yeah, well, by the way, having this uh, 500 response, there's something wrong with uh, trying to do a mathematical expression, a mathematical operation on a float and a non-type. So we have to fix that. That should be a quick fix that uh, probably GitHub Copilot can uh, quickly do for us. I'm just looking, and that's the code. Um, the commented out section is what we modified last time. Just trying to see if I can just get rid of it. I think so. This is obviously also reduced the number of tokens in the prompt. That that line of code was actually limiting the score at the uh, minus 50, the human score, because it's just sitting there and not uh, using and not actually playing, but uh, the game is running. It will um, just go to negative 50 score and uh, stay there. Would not go any lower than that. But the bot keeps producing these false alarms. Let's do correct rejections as well. So if you can monitor this for me. Yeah, so obviously it uh, described it in a much better way than I'll, I'll ever be able to myself okay now we we really had like almost ten thousand tokens apparently we can go up to 128,000, but i'm pretty sure there's something wrong and it's actually dropped um on the on the actual site we wanna be able to test uh, that and now this testing it's actually all the output of the uh, fuzzy logic algorithm. And so we have, uh, yeah, we don't really need the negative prominence, but that's okay. We have the process data. I just pop it in. So this is the terminal output when running the yeah, let's save that and pop this scene as well. Yeah, this turns it into 17,000 tokens. Okay, we still can do more, but we'll uh, go with this prompt, see what it says. Yep, that's right. I wonder I can do videos where I just talk, um, like I listen to the bot and uh, talk out the <laughs> the script <laughs> like <laughs> yeah i can do this the game is the uh, scrolling ecg wave yeah that's right yeah so game uh, game mechanics is uh, the game logic file is uh, calculating the score but yeah we're currently interested in the back end uh, okay a couple of things uh, um, so first of all we are using the synthetic uh, ecg data um, we want to make sure that the fuzzy logic algorithm does not have the labels and um, so the waveform is actually being generated um, in the front end javascript and the fuzzy logic is in the back end can you explain how that works now i'll share again i already shared some of the output in the terminal i'll uh, provide some a more uh, of it and we want to go over some of the errors we might need to make adjustment to the strictness of the membership functions yes yeah, so this uh, output in the terminal indicating indicating some errors we would like to 
um, there's actually two areas in it. There is the uh, one to do with uh, float, uh, with the mathematical uh, operation on a float, comparing it to a non-type. We need to fix that. So can you actually look in the code and suggest a specific suggestion uh, that uh, will uh, remove this error? The other error is that the creased, crisp output cannot be calculated. So this is likely because the system is too sparse. Check and make sure this uh, set of input values will activate at least one connected term in each antecedent via the current set rules. So uh, we for that specific input of uh, three positive peaks and zero negative peaks with an amplitude of 0.5 and R peak sharpness of 0.38, PR interval of 0.3 and RT interval of 0.2. Yeah, for this process data where we need to make uh, sure one of the rules, uh, fuzzy logic rules is being uh, met. So we do not get this error anymore. Yep. Uh, yeah, the GPT-4 is uh, essentially refusing to provide specific code. Oops, just cancel the thing by mistake. Because I used to click in Control C instead of Control Shift C. So I have to run the application again. Okay, now it's running. Uh, right, so we have this two errors that we're trying to solve we go obviously one by one yeah we have uh, both PR intervals are none but why is it happening to begin with yeah we don't want that to happen okay we have a calculate p calculate interval function so it's checking if the variable is not uh, none if it's not none, it converts it to float. And if it is none, it assigns none to it. If it is none, shall we make it zero? So now in theory, at least that the error should go away. Question is, why do we get none to begin with? Float is not great. Ideally, we won't uh, need this at all. Just calculate the intervals, that's it. Hey, can we turn the intervals into a float before outputting them, before returning? So we still initialize them as a none. Now obviously I don't like that zero. That should get uh, rid of some of the errors. Facebook is getting this funny warning for the live stream. It detected music. <laughs> uh, no why <laughs> so it detected music and it says it might be uh, copyrighted or something it's uh, music that I generate myself um, yeah so the owner of the original material may may review the video to see if it matches the content and it gives me an option to end the live stream or resume but then it's uh, no new viewers will be able to join your stream that's silly, because it can't be copyrighted, can it? Just a silly robot detected music <laughs> in the video. Ah, it's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, back to this. We still have, yeah, we still have the other error. Um, let's clear this for a sec. Don't know which. Uh, for which waveform we get the PR and RT values being uh, none, being zero. Yeah, it's generic stuff. I want you to actually find where is it happening. It's essentially when the negative peaks is a zero. To check a fuzzy logic, negative peaks, they go all the way from zero. 
to five. So why is it a problem? It gives uh, it must be giving me false alarm for one of the waveforms, which is not cool. Yeah, every time the human scores, uh, so it's essentially uh, making trying to make it easier for the human. Every time you score 50 points, it becomes faster. So if you're not doing so well, the waveforms will start scrolling slower on the screen. The robot obviously doesn't care <laughs> no, because it's um, it's looking at exactly the same waveform. There's even uh, no filtering involved. It's obviously not getting the label as well, so it doesn't know what the, if it's normal or uh, abnormal uh, wave. Yeah, interestingly, we're getting uh, zeros for the intervals in that case. So we have the process data, so essentially that's the data coming in to the fuzzy logic algorithm, and that's uh, the analysis data, so that's the output of the fuzzy logic algorithm, and essentially does this uh, membership functions, and they are triangular in this case, but it shouldn't matter. We should actually check that they overlap. Yeah, I don't know why in this case, well, because it didn't find the positive peaks correctly. Ah, that's interesting. How to... Yeah, in this case, it should be three and one instead of one and one. There are three positive peaks, but it's not finding them. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, we don't need that anymore, that's for sure. Now they're just uh, rounding the values, the number of uh, digits after the decimal point. It should be fine. Yeah, we're not currently plotting. We don't use uh, matplotlib to plot because um, it's a Flask application, so everything is displayed on the front page. But this actually was quite useful, especially when we have... Uh, uh, the wrong um, just test it with no noise quickly the human is at minus 20 points that's why the scroll becomes slower as well still abnormal now it should become a bit faster so that's all that was also wrong this one gives three and one yeah this one still does one and one three one three and one is correct yeah, one and one is not cool. A three and one is fine for this one. Two and one is correct. There was another one that seemed to be incorrect. The one that doesn't have a negative peak. Two and one is fine. Three and one, that's the normal ECG in our case. Two and one is okay. Oops, shouldn't have clicked on this one. It became slower. The one I uh, want to check the one that doesn't have the negative peak. Obviously, the negative peak here should be zero, but I don't think it's uh, uh, doing it correctly. Yeah, this one, and I missed it. Yeah, this one. Okay, we we went over this uh, multiple times in uh, previous uh, development sessions. I thought we fixed the peak detection, but uh, it's not doing so well. So for the first image, the detection of peaks should have been three positive and one negative. It's doing uh, one and one instead. The second image is uh, this. The example in the second image is correct with two positive peaks and one negative but uh, again the third image example is wrong the three positive peaks is correct however there is no negative peak so the negative peak count should have been zero uh, how do we modify the code yeah, if it's thinking this much something is not quite right yeah, it's just changing how sensitive the peak uh, detector is. Yeah, two and one is correct. Three and one 
Yeah, this is now correct. Yeah, that should have been should have been zero, obviously. Yeah, why is the median of waveforms so low? Yeah, the negative peak is always uh, one, never goes to zero. The normal one. Yeah, this one. Uh, what's wrong with this one? Medium negative prominence four point seven. I want to see the same waveform with no noise in it. Yeah, this one does, uh, this is correct. It has uh, a negative peaks of zero. It's the one we, uh, but even before it had negative peaks of zero. What? The prominence must be too low. There's something wrong. Should the negative prominence be negative? In interior this number should be smaller because the negative peaks uh, are generally smaller. Shouldn't the negative prominence should uh, be negative uh, number? Was it thinking about for so long? We need to fix this case. It uh, should uh, not show a negative peak count of one. It uh, obviously should be zero. Here is the relevant code. How to fix? What the height is zero there? Yeah, and that's that's correct. So why it should be zero? And so we have positive peaks of three. That should be normal. Negative peaks of zero. That's too few. Amplitude point five. That's medium. Our peak sharpness is uh, normal. Yeah, PR interval and uh, RT interval seem legit. Uh, this specific case is uh, um, should be covered by the current membership functions and the uh, the fuzzy rules. Um, the fact that there is zero negative peaks should be covered by it should be labeled as too few okay i'll just hopefully do it uh, hopefully fix this one yeah that's what the problem is uh it's this uh, silly triangular um membership functions uh, can we turn the triangle uh, membership function into a trapezoidal one? Yeah, that's the one. Just want to keep them off for record uh, keeping because we might need to change this in other places as well. But now I expect that problem to go away. Oh, come on. What did it give? Yeah, and what's the probable um, raw number of a uh, negative peaks is uh, zero. That should be okay now, shouldn't it? Amplitude point five. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Instead of giving me that error, <coughs> can you provide something more useful? Why is it only going? Up to one. That's just silly, isn't it? Oops, made a mistake. Made a mistake. Yeah, I want to turn. I changed that triangular membership function into a trapezoidal one. That's right. Is there an option to keep? Oops. Yeah, we won't use control R anymore. Negative peaks. Going point five and one, and then it over um, it like overlays with the triangle one with the next one. Oh come on, that should give us a negative peak of zero. Uh, and it didn't. What's your problem? Uh we need to check every rule that was uh, met in this uh, case. In the, instead of this error that I'm getting, can I get something more useful? Like, um, I want 
to see um, what was the output. I still want to see the output of the fuzzy logic analysis, even though it's uh, giving me this error. How can I do that? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's the only time for me that uh, GitHub Copilot is actually working better than GPT-4. GPT-4 is still thinking, yeah, something's wrong. Yeah, I can give it a rest. It's as if uh, there's some sort of uh, GPU that's been like working too hard or something and it needs a rest. So a uh, GitHub Copilot looked at the code and yet yeah, the rule or the case for the too few negative peak option is not explicitly covered. So the question is, uh, how do we cover the too few option for negative peaks in I mean, in one of the rules, or do we need a new one? Or do we need a new rule for just for this case? Uh, probably not. Just add it like that. Like we have it in default. Yeah, the default does consider too few of uh, negative peaks, but it's uh, negated, meaning it applies when negative peaks is not too few. Yeah, the default rule is a bit weird, but okay. It's currently covered in rule so negative peaks is covered this covered yeah it's suggesting a standalone rule just for a uh, too few uh, negative peaks okay this is not fun we need a better way of testing this like a unit test or something right well now it's working okay Okay, so we added an extra of rules, so we currently have one uh, normal rule, abnormal, amp for say, targeting amplitude, a potential abnormal on targeting sharpness, abnormal intervals, mixed indicators, whatever that is, just a mix of everything kind of thing, which probably should have been very similar to the default. And we added a special one for the case when there is uh, no negative peaks or when the like when the number is too too few and now it seemed to uh, work okay let's play the game for a bit and just for testing purposes as well does it already did the uh, three false alarms still so it's still uh, me stabling uh, yeah the normal case, yeah, that point three is too close to to the border. It should be lower. It's kind of sitting there on the on the threshold. Yeah, I wanna check everything with point three in it, because then it's kind of noisy. So yeah, this one normal point three one, point four nine abnormal. The question is, what's the smallest score for an abnormal ECG uh, wave. Yeah, so this one, 0.316 is still okay. Yeah, once we add some noise, that's where the problems begin. And yes, that's what we are trying to show, but you would ex I would have expected my assumption would be that you will need much more noise for it to start making so many mistakes. So now it's still sitting at that false alarm of four. A false alarm is happening when there is a normal waveform, normal ECG, but it's actually labeling it, it as abnormal. That's when we get a, a false alarm there. So it's not happening anymore. Yeah, we get a point. Yeah, now we get a point three two. So then we get a point three two. It's just by the it's just the noise uh, threw it off. That must be the amplitude or something. Everything else was fine. Another 0.32. So when it's 0.31, we get um, a correct uh, correct rejection. But when it's 0.32, we get a false alarm. So that's not cool. And obviously, the more noise you add, the worse it will become. Yeah, specifically with the 
I did it right. 0.31. And uh, for some, I'm um, still sitting at 6. And we have larger noise. It's doing pretty well. 0.31. It's not going 0.32. It's had even more noise. Yep. 0.315. So as, as long as there is a normal wave and the score is not above 0.32. We should be fine. Still thinking changing all the membership functions to trapezoidal ones. It should in theory work a bit better because it's uh, the overlap. So say this 0 0.31, 0 0.32. Yeah, you don't want it to be too uh, too sensitive. I'm not sure which. Uh, a parameter is actually triggering uh, giving that abnormality score. Uh, yeah, interior trapezoidal functions should be more robust. I need to do all of them. If I comment this out a few, two, three, four. Okay, I understand what it's doing. It's doing uh, two trapezoidal and uh, one triangle and in between but those should overlap this should be one two yes zero one two yeah this is not a great uh, overlap between them it should go all the way to six uh it's taking that five from from there it's kind of funny yeah, funny how a uh, GitHub a uh, GitHub Copilot works. What if we, um, I was called three level. The view. What are you doing? Why is it still going up to? Oh god! Silly goose. Sorry for the noise. Yeah, I think it did the uh, better here, so that. Prompt kind of works, not when we do few. Okay, it's the same. We have normal. That's a um, triangle, and the last one is trapezoidal. Again, yeah, I don't know why that's very specific number. There looks like a, a magic number to me. Should get rid of it. Because yeah, we don't we don't want to like fine tune parameters uh, until the cows come home. Uh, we want just parameters that make sense. To so essentially, if you had like we were asking uh, GPT four to be a cardiologist and an expert in uh, fuzzy logic, so what uh, what would a person an expert like that? Uh, uh, make uh, these uh, numbers that's the question obviously i don't know if there is a person like that to let me know how do i contact them um i suspect them um, yeah there might be i don't i don't know i wouldn't know again i don't have access to the person so that's why i have to use the robot so then uh, cardiologist a ECG specialist, especially yeah, technicians who label data like this um, in, I don't know, five, ten years time shouldn't complain that, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say, <laughs> but I won't say it, just to try to be nice. Okay, it's going up to point two. Uh, that one is the same, the normal case, so it shouldn't change. When the trapezoidal function ends with uh, two numbers that are the same, it means it's like uh, it's a trapezoid, uh, you know, abrupt, no no slope, as opposed to this case where it's still uh, sloping. So that's the strength, um, that's when the membership function. Yeah, I should have another two uh, explaining like more basic stuff about the fuzzy logic i'm sure someone does it on uh, youtube yeah so this is a bit better you see the the abnormality score for normal ecg went a bit lower it used to be 0 0.3132 or something now it's uh, 
0.3, closer to 0.3. Yeah, 0 0.29, that's good. Let's see if we increase the... Yeah, so that, that's, uh, you could see um, how changing the trapezoid, the membership functions from uh, triangular to trapezoidal uh, makes the fuzzy logic algorithm more robust. And we get better responses. Yeah, we might actually, originally we limited the amount of noise there. Well, because it wasn't working well. Now we can actually uh, go, uh, what's that noise, is it noise level? Noise level, where is noise level? Noise slider, it's going max 10. Shall we just wrap it up to a uh, hundred? Uh, it's uh, because it's doing pretty well, even with uh, yeah. So now it's doing uh, doing mistakes. Uh, but if we keep it in the middle, what happens if we keep it in the middle? We already had uh, one false alarm, but would it do more of them? Yes, it will. Because that's normal and it label it abnormal because the abnormality score is like 0.7 crazy it's no good okay let's make it 50. um default value say 10. so let's see if this amount of uh, noise would it make any mistakes that's what we want to check that's what we are doing Correct rejection now normal correct rejection so it's working fine and and yeah what this uh, tool will be showing is that uh, once you increase the noise the machine will start making more and more mistakes currently it's working pretty well can make the so if we go and mark it uh, uh, the slider going from uh, zero to fifty so if, what if we make this value twenty five so spot on in the middle here and you can go left and right reduce noise all the way to zero or a uh, increase it all the way up to 50 whatever you will see it on the screen how the noise is uh, added yeah it didn't miss so there was an abnormal that and it labeled it as uh, normal that's not cool it's still a score of uh, the score is still going up, so mostly it's uh, in the green. Oops, I clicked on. You can obviously now the human that you see the result of the robot. If you're looking here, you can cheat, and this is actually interesting. Yeah, what is cheating? Um, it's an interesting point. So if you essentially yeah, instead of labeling it like a competition between uh, human and uh, machine. Uh, we turn it into a collaboration that's right so the so in this case for example with this much noise the robot is making its uh, decision you can uh, see it straight away it gives you the abnormality score and making a decision that you might uh, as a human expert you might want to overwrite so that's where we heading towards try this out yourself a uh, go check bionicchaos.com there's a bunch of other interesting tools uh, let me know what you think i'll finish with some uh, seizure music we ask the bot to do like a summary thing and uh, ah it's resting it's doing some crap uh, we updated the code. Yeah, I want to also see what's the limit for. I'm seriously considering like stop paying for it. It's making too many of those. Uh, something I've gone wrong. And yeah, they, they talk here about laziness. Cases where the model doesn't complete the task, returns a maximum of. Uh, this many tokens and so on and so forth blah 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 blah. i don't want to read all that it should just work i mean it's something to do with the implementation of the of the model 
see if there's any questions no there's no questions someone was asking if this is uh, open source well um, in theory yes uh practically my uh, source control is not currently working there's some uh, issue linking uh, visual studio code to github uh, so currently i'm doing some uh, manual uh, version control but uh, yes i need to fix it uh, hopefully if uh, chgpt wakes up i mean yeah i can use github copilot yeah i should fix it and yeah chgpt is still thinking is something went wrong I can ask uh, uh, can you give a summary of the changes that we made and give an overall, overall overview for this uh, Flask uh, Python uh, application? Let's see what it does. Still, it's giving me some generic stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll do a summary of it ourselves. It should be then added to the HTML page. I'll see you next time. Bye.